Hello everyone, I'm Jay and I just passed my CISSP exam two days ago, literally two days ago. Um, and I thought I would share my exam experience uh, so that others can benefit. This is just about the exam, nothing else, no resources, nothing. I have made a couple of other videos about resources and my approach and all that. Uh, if you like to watch it, please, I will leave the link below. But this is just about the exam. Again, I'm not going to talk about the exam questions, uh, what actual questions are. It's not right. It's, yeah, it just goes against the ethos. Uh, that's something I'm not going to do. And don't ask me. Uh, I have seen comments uh, before, but don't. Right, okay. So, on the exam, um, right, let's talk 24 hours before the exam. So, 24 hours before the exam, try not to learn anything new. You had months and months, however the number of months you have given. Last 24 hours are not going to do any good for learning something new. So just ignore it. If you want to revise something, yes, refer to your notes or maybe see a Sunflowers yeah, SSP or something else, something else, a Memory Palace or, you know, there are tons of other sources, right? You can do that. Um, but yeah, relax. Take it easy. 24 hours before the exam. Have a good night's sleep. Sleep for 8 hours or 10 hours. Minimum of 8 hours, right? Good night's sleep. You will need it. You will need, um, you know, fresh and strong head going into the exam. This is brutal. This is almost going to a war, <laughs> right? Yes, uh, absolutely. This is going to test your patience, test your knowledge, test your, uh, oh man, come on. This is, this is brutal. So, um, a exam center on the exam day, try to arrive as early as you can, at least half an hour before, if not more. Uh, there is a process, um, they will take two forms of ID, fingerprints, thumbprint, photograph. Uh, you have to lock everything away, they will give you a locker. You can't take anything into the exam room apart from the ID and the notepad they give you, right? That's it. So, you have to lock everything. It's a 20 minute process if there is no queue. Um, there was queue when I turned up, well, not turned up, when I took a break and going back again. So during the pandemic, you may want to arrive earlier, right? My test center was three hours drive away from where I was. Uh, I drove the night before and I slept a uh, good night's sleep. And I, you know, walked into exam test center like an hour before. Um, so I probably sat down around after 12. My exam was at one o'clock. This is another thing. If you can do the exam in the morning, please do it. I saw other people recommend doing the exam in the morning because your mind is fresh and all that. Uh, it really depends on the type of person you are. I wish I could do in the morning, but when I booked, I booked it in the afternoon and I just never thought about it. Originally, I was going to try on the day itself, but I thought it was too risky if something happens. And yeah, anyway, so um, that's that's what happened. So um, yeah, so once once you sit down, once you're at the com your computer, uh, once you're at your desk, First things first, this is most important, right? First things first, please accept the NDA straight away, right? Straight away, as soon as you sit down, accept the NDA straight away. I have read stories, people um, didn't accept the NDA straight away. Maybe they were trying to dump everything on the notepad, um, ignoring the NDA. NDA only runs for five minutes on the screen, and after that, your exam will be canceled, you won't get the money back, you can't appeal, nothing can happen. You just have to reschedule. Um, and just not a nice feeling. It's the worst thing that can happen. Please don't do it. Please, please don't do it. Please, as soon as you um, sit down, accept the NDA, and then you can water, you can do whatever. Right? That's what I did. I did that. I did accept the NDA, and there was a screen saying, um, explaining the exam. There will be multiple choice questions. You know, your next screen will start the exam. Bloody, bloody, blah. I remember when I was at the boot camp with Kevin Henry 18 months ago. Um, he was saying, um, yeah, do the NDA and then there will be a small tutorial before the exam starts. But this time I didn't find any tutorial. Um, I just clicked next and then bam, there I, I saw first question of the CISSP exam and my timer was running, countdown timer was running, 180 minutes. Um, first question was relatively, I thought it was okay, not bad. Uh, in, in fact, first four questions, I thought they were okay. Um, I don't know, maybe I studied enough or, um, yeah, I thought okay. And then, man, then it got tough and then got it tough and it got tougher. And 
after the first four questions i don't think there was a point in time in the exam i thought i was 100 percent confident about any answer i have given right that's how tough it was there were maybe a couple of questions they were you know straightforward i could you know i know the answer i just i didn't spend more than five seconds right um, but there was there were some questions i spent four or five minutes even in fact i have um, at the uh, at the end of the first hour i have only done 35 questions and my goal was to do 50 questions right so for you um once you accept the nda if you want to dump your memory on the notepad you can do it it's up to you what you want to do after um i i what i wrote down after the nda on my notepad was trust your judgment um think like a manager take breaks do 50 questions an hour and I wrote down a couple of other points, um, but nothing about content, nothing about technical stuff. It's all about just how I do the exam. I just had to remind myself uh, constantly because on the exam you will see questions um, where three or if, if sometimes four of the answers, all four answers were right. Um, and a couple of them may be technical and a couple of them are management. and the answer may be the management related and you have to pick the best one so as i said this is a management exam don't try to fix the problems um, try think like a manager right <laughs> um, so take breaks um, breaks are underrated take breaks every an hour or every 50 questions 30 questions whatever suits you uh, you can come out you can go to you know uh, uh, restrooms um, you can't you can't touch your locker stuff you can't go out of the building and all that so but you can yeah you can you can take break and have a water or a juice or something I did take a break um, not after one hour but after one hour I did 35 questions and I thought I'm doing really badly here so I need to <laughs> I need to ramp up um, I did 50 questions and I took a break um, at this time I had about 103 minutes left or something um, and when I came back, I had 97 minutes, and I only done 50 questions. And I was, I went, I gone through 70 questions at this point. Um, I, I had 70 or 70 minutes left, 70, 75 minutes left. Um, and when I did 70 questions, as I said, at no point I, I, I thought I was very confident about my answers, so I thought I failed already. And I was thinking number of scenarios, how, how to show my face to my wife, my daughter, my friends. <laughs> uh, it was tough, right? So, um, but, you know, I was just staying positive. Let's see what happens. I ha I ha I'm here. I have to do it, right? I'll do my best. So, another thing when you're answering the questions, try to take some time, more time for first 20 questions or so, 10, 20 questions. Um, maybe that those 20 questions may set pace of the difficulty for the exam for you um, you don't I don't know but I, I thought that's the gist uh, that's the summary I got from various other uh, sources I watched um, there are 20 remember there are 25 questions out of first hundred questions they are not marked um, in the exam they are um, some tests yeah questions that are not scored so you, but you won't figure you won't know which ones they are so you have to do your best uh, so technically there are only 75 questions if you're getting 100 questions 75 questions are marked and you have to get 70 80 percent of them right um, so and each question will have a different weightage on the on the exam i heard so that's something you, you want to think about so first 20 questions take time and then uh, where, where were we 70 questions i had 75 minutes at this time i thought i, I failed so i was expecting the, uh, 150 questions at most 151 questions um, and I was thinking, okay, I still have 80 questions to go if that is the case. And I only had 75 minutes, so that means I have to do a question less than a minute. Um, and I was really ramping up. I was really going fast. Um, I remember from 80th question to uh, 98 questions, I was literally reading question only once and then just click, click next, click next, click next, right? Um, we are trying to save time, right? Um, so that's what's happening. Um, I was thinking if I missed anything else, the questions on the exam, you, you won't see them anywhere, right? Practice questions are a lot different from real exam questions or other way around. Real exam questions are a lot different from practice questions. 
in the practice questions you see most of the times uh, it's a technical question or it's a question that's asking an answer probably straightforward question you can see them I have heard um, some practice questions like Sean Harris or, or Luke Hamad or Boson or they're a a closer to the exam but I haven't taken them myself so um, as I said I made another video about what resources I used please go and watch it if you if you fancy um, but yeah um, read the question twice in the exam right read the question slowly first time maybe a bit faster second time read the answers um, as I said trust your judgment um, when you pick the answer read the answer and then try to fit in the question uh, try to fit in fit it in into the question and see if that is the best fit all right um, that might help that has helped me a, a little bit there were a couple of times a uh, couple of questions I answered and click next as soon as I click next I thought the answer was wrong uh, I don't know why I thought it could have been a different answer um, but you can't do anything about it once you click next you can't go back um, and that's another thing right if you if you think you made a mistake or if you made a mistake or past is past move on just try not to worry about what happened in the past just try to do your best um, with what's in front of you right um, yeah I was, I was uh, I'm thinking if, I, if I'm missing anything else. Breaks, I, as I said, yeah, try to take breaks. I, I did only one break um, after 50 questions. So that was about after 80 minutes. And um, I was planning to take another break. Although I was running out of time, I was planning to take a break. Um, I, was, I thought I will take a break after 100 questions if I get more. So I was doing the 80 to 100 really fast. And when I did the 100 question, click next, and it said, your exam is finished um, please go and collect your report and this 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 point I thought I, I failed why would they say it and also for the last 15 or so questions were straightforward I thought they were relatively easier than the questions before so I thought oh wow they asked me easier questions which means uh, you know the algorithm must have decided I already failed and <laughs> I was thinking a number of things in my head um, what should I do and now I don't want to spend another two three months preparing for this again and you know there was about like um, 30 40 yards uh, walk from my uh, desk to the uh, you know the, the, the reception and that's the longest walk um, when you finish the exam right please make sure you click all the way through like e end the exam um, all the way to the end screen otherwise the um, test center guys have to go through and do that and while you're waiting it just your heart will be racing now, because if you go through the end screen that's when the uh, the software will print your report uh, right so I did that actually so I, I clicked through the towards the end and then when I went came out um, the reception and I said can I have my report she said no <laughs> you have to empty your locker first that's our policy oh, I'm like oh, come on um, and then I emptied the locker and I said can you even can you at least tell me it's a positive or uh, negative news she said no I can't tell you it's our, against our policy so I had to uh, empty the locker and uh, give her the, my ID show her my ID and then she folded my result and gave it to me when I opened it said congratulations I'm like oh man that's brilliant <laughs> so um, I hope that helps um, do the NDA that's the most important part turn up early um, try not to rush in, in last few hours of the exam uh, last few hours before the exam just take it easy just you know arrive early um, be be relaxed you, you uh, eat well um, not too much not too little it's a three hours exam um, you, you will need some energy it will be stressful you will be tested try this is another most important thing think like a manager don't fix the problems don't think like an engineer don't go and fix the firewall rules uh, fix the policy right so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it you can do this I I have done it if I have done it you can do this as I said I have made a video um, or a couple of videos about resources I used uh, if you're interested please please watch them right any questions uh, leave the comments below um, I, I, will, I will try my best to answer them. Right. Thank you very much.
and good luck.